everyone. Uh, this is BT here with FXLiveDayTrading.com. I'm doing a video because last week um, I wanted to get this video done. Um, this was a wedge pattern that took place last Thursday. I didn't have a chance to do that, so I wanted to just backtrack on this chart a little bit. Go over one of these trades that we took last week and just show the relevance of the falling wedge pattern and how patterns can really help us in achieving um, an edge in Forex trading. <clears throat> you can just see that we, we tumbled. This was the Brexit tumble, and this is a 30-minute chart. Um, and then we came uh, down uh, to our support level, and this goes way back, I mean years back. We have this at 132.43. We discussed that in the trading room now. Okay, broke through that, and it was just a bit spiky, the up and down, but really it had a sloppy wedge pattern. Okay, and then we consolidate a little bit up here on the top of the wedge. I sent a signal out via email, <clears throat> took the trade, and we had a stop below the wedge here. Uh, took it on this candle, stop below the wedge here. And the target was a perfect target. 133.40 was that 50% fib. You could see exactly to the pip that's where it touched. Our target was 133.33. Just a few pips below that. Uh, you know, I don't try to get it to the pip. That's a bit greedy. But, you you know, sometimes it doesn't make it up there perfectly, um, you know, on the retracement to the upside. But I think a lot of these traders calculated that that 50 fib was just that perfect area to get out. Okay, pulled back a little bit. And then came up to that 133.40 again, consolidated. Uh, excuse me, really, we've been in that range since. Now, we didn't come back down and retest the lows, which I think is good. Are we going to? Now, I'm actually thinking we're going to consolidate and then head head up a little bit here. Because, um, really, this, this consolidating sideways, uh, here, let me, let me just move this over so that we can get a better, uh, clearer idea of this chart and what I'm discussing here. And now, I'm going to go to the actual current chart. See, I was projecting last week's chart. <clears throat> okay, so I've been doing a lot of consolidation here. And that 50 fib that I told you about, uh, that we went back there uh, on that falling wedge and we hit is um, that 33.40. So that's down here. I know this, this is a little tight here. Um, talk about key levels, sometimes a little difficult. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here, make more sense out of this. <clears throat> okay, so move this down a little bit too. This right here is a one hour chart. Zoomed it in just a little bit, and um, you can see we haven't been doing anything here but going sideways. And we've been really consolidating from that 132.43 level and up to that 133.40 level. So a couple hundred pip range here. We could basically play the range with a few spikes in the interim. Now remember, we did have that pretty big spike today. Just blew those stops. That was sold, came down, back down, 132, 79 area. So if we go to a higher time frame, what is it looking like? Well, it kind of looks like we're going to move sideways, OK? Uh, this right here is that uh, five period. You can see we're starting to kind of make our way above that. If we do, uh, we may make our way up. I'm thinking at least we come back up and retest at 133.40 over the course of the next few days. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, maybe make our way up a little bit. Just take out some of these stops in this area up here. Um, don't know. We'll see. There was some... Uh, uh, talk of uh, decreasing the tax rate. I believe it was Osborne discussed that in the UK yesterday. A lot of this news was overlooked because of the holiday weekend in the US, but nevertheless, it was talked about. Um, Sunday night, I got that news bit. And uh, sometimes these uh, news bits take a couple days to kick in. Talking about decreasing the tax rate at, uh, to, if I recall, 15%. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, that could get a little short covering don't know we'll see I do know one thing right now super tight range pound dollar four-hour chart we'll be watching this close 
Um, I am looking for a retracement up, maybe at about 135. Um, I think we just about have put our lows in here. It doesn't mean we can't come back down and maybe retest these lows. I just personally, I don't think we're going to break the lows of last week, at least not this week. We'll see, but then again, remember, got that non-farm payroll. So you may want to be out before that non-farm payroll comes through. So if you're going to take a trade, maybe stop and target, play this range, maybe the non-farm payroll is going to break the range, whether it be up or down. So uh, definitely be prudent going into that NFP this Friday. Everybody have a good one. Hope this video helped. Take care.